Ya. <coughs> yeah. Spring developer, uh, do you know his name? Who made this Spring framework? Huh? His name? And from which organization they released it? And initial name? Spring developer name. His name is Rod Jansen. Rod Jansen. And from Spring organization. From Spring organization they are releasing Spring versions. Now Spring it is from Pivotal organization. Pivotal. Now Pivotal releasing all the Spring versions. Actually they take a Spring framework. Initially it is from Spring organization. And the initial name of Spring framework is Interface 21. Interface 21. Later they changed that name to Spring. So why they named it Spring? Any reason for this name? Actually for names, no reasons, right? While putting names to us, based on our star and based on place, they used to assign the names. Why they named for this framework Spring? Initial name is it is Interface 21. Later they changed it to Spring. So why they changed it to Spring and what is the reason behind Spring? Actually Spring came as an alternative for which API? It is alternative for EJBs. Main alternative resource for EJBs. So Spring came against EJBs, Enterprise Java Beans. In case of enterprise Java beans, applications will become heavyweight and tightly coupled. By using Spring, we can make it lightweight and loosely coupled. And we can reduce investment cost also. We no need to buy server from server. We no need to buy the services. Spring freely providing services. So that services we can use for our enterprise applications. Means for banking applications, okay, EJB is suitable. But if it is a small scale e-commerce application, if your investment cost is 1 lakh rupees or 2 lakhs rupees, EJVs are not suitable. We need to have some free sources. So that free source is Spring. So why they named it Spring? Actually they are comparing Spring people, this pivotal, I mean the Spring organization people. Initially they named it Interface 21. Later they changed it to Spring. The reason is they are comparing Spring with EJVs. EJBs are like winter season. EJBs are like winter and then later after winter, the next coming season is spring. Winter it is not fine for that people, I mean for US people. In winters they used to get minus 20 degrees. Usually they used to get minus 20 degrees. So EJBs they are comparing with winter season. EJBs they are comparing with winter, then after winter the next season is spring season. Okay, in spring season they used to get like 5 degrees or 0 degrees temperature they used to get. Okay, that season is fine for them. So, by comparing with EJBs, they named it spring. No reason behind it. Okay, they are saying spring is easy by comparing with EJBs. Okay, so this name later they changed it to spring. And the spring is a season. That's why if you see spring, they here you used to find one leaf. Like in spring symbol, they given for spring they given logo, simple leaf symbol. Okay, so just they are comparing with the season. No reason behind the name. Okay, just they are comparing with a season, spring season. So by comparing with EJB, springs are easy and it will make your application lightweight. How they will make your application lightweight? Lightweight means what? Loosely coupled is different. 
स्विंग्स आर लाइट वेट एडब्ल्यूटी आर हेवी वेट इंडिपेडेंट ऑन एक्चुअली एडब्ल्यूटी वेल रनिंग एडब्ल्यूटी एप्लीकेशन एडब्ल्यूटी विल यूज ओ एस लाइब्ररी बट इन केस ऑफ स्विंग्स स्विंग्स आर नॉट हैविंग एनी डिपेंडेंसी ऑफ ओ एस जस्ट यूर जेडी के लाइब्ररी देवल यूज गेटिंग एडब्ल्यूटी सी कैन रन ऑन यूर विंडोज एंड एज वेल एज स्विंग्स ऑल्सो कैन रन ऑन यूर विंडोज बट वाइल रनिंग एडब्ल्यूटी इट विल यूज यूर ओ एस लाइब्ररी ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम लाइब्ररी इट विल यूज सो देन यू कैन से एडब्ल्यू टी आर हेवी वेट इट विल यूज ओ एस डिपेंडेंसी बट इन केस ऑफ स्विंग्स Swings are not having any dependency of OS. Without this OS libraries, by using your simple JDK libraries, by using simple JDK libraries, swings will execute. Means here, swings are not having any dependency of platform OS operating system. EJBs are having dependency of application servers. Application server dependency is there for EJBs. then you can say ejbs are heavy weight but whereas springs are not having any dependency of application server you no need to have any app server without application server by using simple spring jars spring jars are enough along with your jdk without having any platform dependency You can execute your Spring classes, but to execute EJB classes, must you need to have App Server. So for AWS, must you need to have a OS. On top of this OS, AWS will execute. And this OS libraries internally it will use. But coming to Swings, Swings will not use any OS dependencies. Swings are lightweight. AWS are heavy weight. If they ask difference between lightweight and heavyweight, first they will ask differences between springs and EJBs. So the main differences between springs and AWS, AWS, ah uh, sorry, springs and EJBs, EJBs are heavyweight and tightly coupled. Spring applications are lightweight and loosely coupled. Lightweight means we can compare with AWS and springs. AWS are having dependencies of OS libraries, but whereas springs are not having any dependency of OS libraries just they will use your JDK libraries then you can say swings are lightweight AWS are heavyweight in the same way EJBs are having dependency of app server application servers whereas springs are not having any dependency of application servers so then you can say EJBs are lightweight springs are heavyweight sorry EJBs are heavyweight and springs are here lightweight loosely coupled means loosely coupled means loosely coupled means if you see indian mobile numbers if you see indian mobile gsm mobile numbers gsm mobile numbers are compatible with any network our indian gsm mobile numbers not cdms today if you purchase a airtel mobile number airtel sim card with airtel as some number with some unique number in future if you don't want airtel service what we can do by using portal we can able to change that number i mean we can change that network network to another network that compatibility we have right so that is what actually lightweight uh, sorry loosely coupled we no need to bind with any network we no need to have tightly relationship with any network in future if you don't want that airtel network you can shift from airtel to some docomo or reliance any other networks so that compatibility we have for that gsm mobile numbers the same type of compatibility you need to have for your application your application also should not have any dependency with other layers while building mvc based application while building mvc based application presentation layer it is different it is not a java component here we have to use like html css javascript those things we have to use either jsp is also we can use for dynamic pages coming to java layers we have one controller part controller part and model part 
again modal will divide into modal will divide into three layers services business DAOs so if your business layer if you want to prepare like compatible with any DAO or your business part compatible with any services okay uh, say so here by using what we can prepare DAO classes data access classes by using which tools or which APIs we can build for DAOs we can use JDBC right by using JDBC we can write DAO classes data access classes or else we can use Hibernate here if you don't want Hibernate you can go through JPA here Java Persistence API if you don't want JPA you can move with IBATIS many ORM tools we have here many ORM tools we have so either JDBC, Hibernate, JPA or ORM we have many networks like Airtel, Docomo, Reliance if you compare with the GSM mobile if it is GSM SIM it need to compatible with any DAO classes in case for your business if you want to use JDBC your business class should compatible with DAOs in case if we don't want JDBC it need to have compatibility to move to Hibernate if we don't want Hibernate instead of Hibernate if you want to move to JPA so that compatibility your business class need to have in future if you want to communicate instead of DAO JDBC DAO classes if you want to move to Hibernate DAOs or JPA DAOs or IBATIS DAOs that compatibility your business class need to provide that type of compatibility if you have here then you can say these two layers are loosely coupled layers these two layers are loosely coupled layers how we can make it loosely coupled how we can make two classes loosely coupled classes let's say if it is a and b directly if i create a b class instance in a class what happens then these two classes will become tightly coupled classes directly to talk with this dao in a class if i create b class instance directly if i create a class i mean b class instance inside a compulsory by using this b class only i need to do database operations i don't have any compatibility here so here to provide compatibility instead of creating b class instance so compatibility means what your sim need to adjust for any network so to adjust for any network your sim they need to design to compatible to any network right so to make compatibility these all layers i mean these all tools jdbc hibernate or jpa or ibatis while preparing by using JDBC or while pre preparing by using Hibernate or while preparing by using JPA or any other ORM tools your DAO classes they need to follow some rules then only compatibility is possible getting so here if you have some rules if you have an interface in the form of interface we can provide rules here if they implement the same rules if they implement the same rules by using that rules interface reference here I can able to inject any object right if my class if it implement by using a interface by using a interface if I implement JDBC class or Hibernate class or JPA class or IBATIX class instead of creating this JDBC class object directly here if I take this interface reference into that interface reference if I able to pass JDBC object or Hibernate object or JPA object at runtime, if I have capability to pass this object into business, then my business layer will become loosely coupled with DAO part. So by using Java runtime polymorphism, we can do this. By using Java runtime polymorphism into interface references, we can pass any implementation class objects. Then we can make our layer compatible with any DAO layer. I mean our business part it can be compatible with any DAO part so if you make that compatible if you prepare that compatibility if you provide that compatibility between two layers then you can say that two layers are loosely coupled layers that compatibility if you provide then only you can say that two layers are 
loosely coupled layers and controller class while controller talking with business this business for some businesses you can use global transactions and securities let's say if i use web logic transactions for my business class and web logic security if i use in future if you don't want web logic transactions or web sec i mean web logic securities if you don't want web logic and web logic transactions and web logic securities for your business part <laughs> if you want to change it to jboss jboss transactions and jboss security or else in future if you want to change it to spring transactions and spring security I mean, there is a chance to implement your business class by using web logic or JBoss or by using Spring libraries. And if you tightly coupled with this business part, I mean web logic business part, if you tightly coupled with web logic business part, in future if you want to change it to JBoss or Spring, it is not possible. But if I use interface model here, I mean if I have a top end interface, by using that interface, if I implement all these, by taking interface reference here into interface references, I can able to pass any implementation object. By using our runtime polymorphism, by using our RTP runtime polymorphism, I can able to inject any implementation of controller. Then my controller also will become loosely coupled with business part. That is what actually actually loosely coupling. Okay, loosely coupling is possible because of Java runtime polymorphism. By using this Java runtime polymorphism, by taking interface implementation model. we can make our two layers independent loosely coupled that is what loosely coupled heavy weight means if your application if it is having if your complete application if it is having any tightly dependency on platform or server we can say your application is heavy weight on that particular server awts are heavy weight spring sir light weight and ejbs are heavy weight spring sir lightweight ejbs are having dependency of application server without application server we can't able to execute springs are lightweight without application server also we can execute we no need to have any application server simple jdk and spring jar files are enough and loosely coupled means if you have two classes if you have two classes a and b if these two classes directly if they don't have any tightly dependency means instead of creating b class instance directly if you create b class instance directly then you can say these two layers are having tightly dependency tightly coupled these two classes are tightly coupled these two classes are tightly coupled to make the two classes lightweight i mean loosely coupled loosely coupled instead of creating this b class instance directly here if you have one top interface here top end interface from that interface if you implement your b class instead of creating b class object directly here by creating parent class reference into parent class refer reference if you pass child class object then your class will compatible with any interface implementation in future if you don't want this b you can implement one more class c that c class object also you can pass here instead of passing this c class reference directly here by using xml files if you have capability to pass in future if you want to make changes from that xml file we can make changes it is possible in java at run time we can read any data from xml files or notepads after reading the data we can able to create objects so by using java run time polymorphism we can make layers lightly lightweight i mean loosely coupled if you use interface model then your application will become loosely coupled direct class objects if you create then your application will become tightly coupled okay these two are main two benefits from spring 